So hi. So it's Ken again. It's Ken again. So today we're going to do another Tai Chi stroke, uh, Qigong uh, well-being uh, health film. Okay, so I won't rattle too much. So um, you're standing with your feet about the same distance as your hips or your shoulders, but feet parallel to each other. Imagine you have a long ponytail on the top of the head that's tied up to the heavens, or as if you're trying to touch the top of the head up against the ceiling, or as if you're balancing something on the top of the head. Your pelvic area, tilted forwards, feels like it's hanging down from that suspension from above. Keep a slight bend in the, in the, the knees at all times, relax the, the knees, the hips, and your ankles. Sink the chest to round the upper back, uh, have the feelings if you're pulling your belly from the inside towards your lower back. So you're filling the lower back, you're trying to flatten the lower back, but not with excessive muscular tension in the lower back, in the rectus spinal muscles, just filling the lower back and sitting down. Might you sitting down onto a high stool. Breathing in through the nose, if you can. Uh, touch the tongue onto the roof of the mouth. So you're standing. So you imagine you have a ball in your belly, about three fingers below the belly button and in the center of the body. Fist size ball closer to the spine than to the front of the body. And you're neutralizing the weight of your head down through the spine, down through that ball in the belly and down through the legs into the ground. So you're perfectly upright. Okay, put your mind into that ball in the belly and just start to turn it from side to side. Turning that ball in the belly from side to side. So moving from your center. So quite a small movement at your center, bigger movement at your waist, even bigger movement at your fingertips. Okay, so in previous films I've asked you to uh, to connect that ball in the belly to this area here, the, the Wei Lu as we call it in Tai Chi, the, the, the sacrum area, the part of the spine, or that, that joint there that joins the, the spine to the iliums to make up the pelvis. So you're connecting that ball in the belly to this area here. So this area is substantial, this is yang, okay? You want the qua area, the hips, the inguinal crease area here to be, to be yin. But this is not just hard and soft. Uh, you want the, the Wei Lu area to always be more substantial than these areas here, the qua. Moving, 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 moving. Your arms moving away from the body because of the centripetal force coming out from your center. So the faster you turn that ball and belly, the further out from the body the arms will get. Turning, turning. This is probably one of the world's most practiced Tai Chi exercises. You have all of Tai Chi in this, in this basic exercise. One of the first exercises I learned and the very first class I went to a quarter of a century ago and one that I still practice every day. Waist turning exercise, but make sure you're moving from your center. Moving from your center, you're feeling the natural shock absorbing property of your legs, so you're not locking the legs out. You're just feeling the, the, the sink down to the legs, the, the legs acting like the springs you get in a car or in a truck. So responding to the weight of the body, absorbing the weight of the body, keeping you nice and upright. It's kind of what our legs evolved, our bipedal legs evolved to be the shock absorbers. So to lift our head up, uh, so that we're not just juddering all over the place there to stabilize our, our vision and stabilize our hands for our hand-eye coordination for our ancient ancestors when they were hunting, throwing spears, hand-eye coordination. Okay, so moving from your center. Moving, moving, moving. And again, make sure that the hips aren't taking over this movement here. Remember these areas, or the inguinal crease, the quad area, and the gates are always less substantial than the Weilu and the, the ball in the belly. Okay, make your hands into hollow fists. Make your hands into hollow fists. And if your shoulders are nice and relaxed, you should be able to give your lower back, the lumbar section of your back, a nice massage. You can dictate how hard or soft you massage the lower back by how vigorously you tone your waist. Massage in the erector spinal muscles, giving a nice kidney massage here. You could use this as, as body conditioning as well if you if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm just going to use it as a, a gentle massage. Massage. A gentle massage. Ma mass massaging the lower back. Massaging the lower back. Watch it. Wouldn't be the first one. Massaging lower back. Massaging lower back. Keeping it back. Massaging lower back. Okay, so you're feeling the shock absorbing properties of your of your legs. The natural shock absorbing properties of your legs. Sinking down. And you feel the weight of the, the body compressing the legs against the ground like springs. Like springs. You really in Tai Chi we we try to use the minimal amount of gross muscular effort, so the, the minimal amount of just tensing the muscles against the bones to get movement. We really try to utilize the elastic energy of the, the myofascia, the white tissue inside the body, the stringy, stretchy tissue in the body that connects and joins everything inside the body. We really try to utilize the elasticity of that uh, energy that we call Jin in Tai Chi. Okay, so sinking down. And I kind of want you to start to bring your arms up in front of you now. And I want your heel to come off the ground. Your heel is coming off the ground. So you're sinking down, compressing against the ground and then bouncing up and sending that bounce up through the body and out to your hollow fists. So the heel following this up. So it's the connected tissue pulling the heel up with this energy, this energy moving up through the body 
and pulling the heel off the ground. Make sure the lower back's not curving in, the chest isn't sticking out, the lower ribs aren't sticking out. Make sure the, the sacrum is pushed forwards, pushing the sacrum forwards to flatten the lower back. Make sure it's not kinking backwards. Make sure the lower back's not curving in. It's one like a horse rearing up onto its hind quarters, standing tall, confident not to be messed with. Okay, then open up the hands and throw one hand over the shoulder, the other hand again tapping the lower back. So you open up the hands, throwing the hands up and around the body. So you're controlling your arms with the strength of the earth and that ball in your belly. That ball in the belly, as we call it, the Dantian and Tai Chi, steering all the movements of the body. Steering all the movements of the body. Throwing your arms up. Again, make sure that this strength of the earth is not going out through the, the chest sticking out or the ribs flowing out or getting stuck in the lower back, curving in, channeling up through the body. So there's a clear route up through the body and out to your hands. And again, hitting the body as hard as is comfortable for you. So you're making balls out of the hands and doing that cupping massage stroke to release any tension. You might be holding onto in the shoulders, tapping the shoulder with the, the palm, tapping the lower back with the back of the hand. And again, hitting yourself as hard as is comfortable for you. You can use it as a gentle massage or as a, again, body conditioning, strengthening your body and strengthening your hands. And again, make sure the hips aren't taking over these movements. So the, the dantian in the belly and the weilu, the sacrum, more substantial than the claw, the hip inguinal crease area. Okay, and just let that settle down. Right, so, settle down, down. Okay, so I want you to bring your, you to bring your feet together. Uh, I will start with my feet together like this. It's quite a Shaolin way of doing things. Uh, probably as we go through, uh, my feet will go out like they probably even go into a into a into a slightly wider sense. So I'm going to start from here, starting from here. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to start to again, turn my waist, turn my waist, turn my arms. Uh, you can have your hands open or in fists again, it doesn't matter too much. Make sure I have my hands in. I'll have my hands open, I have my hands open. Okay, and up, and I can't, you know, I want you, when your arms go up in front of you and behind you, I want you to go up onto your tiptoes. So you're really feeling the spring of the legs still, you're activating the pump of the connective tissue that rolls or runs along the soles of the feet, the plantar fascia. Strongest connective tissue or thickest connective tissue in the body. It's sinking and this will get your breath up. It'll get you warm, this one will. Up, up. If any of you remember a film I made a while ago, but it's about a year ago now, called The Dragonfly Skims the Water. It's very much like that. I'll put a, I'll put a, a link to it up, up there. Dragonfly. Skims the water. This one, I like that one. And again, make sure you're not flaring the ribs out, you're not curving in the lower back. Sticking out the chest, not letting the head hang forwards. But as if the neck's touching against the collar of his shirt. So pushing up at the top of the head. Settle down. Okay, so I want you to step forwards. We're going to do both sides, so it doesn't matter which one uh, you step forward. So if you can go a, uh, a shoulder width stance or a narrow stance, make sure you're not crossing the step there. I'm going to go into a mid range stance. So I've got like a channel, a fist width uh, channel in between my, my heels. Okay, uh, hands open. What we're going to do, we're going to go forwards like this. Forwards like this, and again, the, the heel of the rear foot is going to come off the ground. Okay, so forwards and back. Forwards and back. So we're still getting that pump, rolling along the soles of the feet. Only the rear heel is coming off the ground. Make sure the front knee goes forwards in line with the toes. Goes no further forward than the toes. I'll give you a side view here. Yeah. Okay, so again, like the, the dragonfly skims the water. And again, make sure the lower back's not curving. You're not leading with your chest. You're not curving in the lower back. Sink the chest around the upper back. <sighs> Pushing the sacrum forwards. And try to hold it there with your intent rather than growth muscular effort. You still want movement. That sacral joint, part of the spine, the sacrum, and the iliac or ilium, uh, the blades of the pelvis. They're joined together by the, the sacral joint. Cartilage and ligaments there. And this area is weight bearing. And you do want movement there. Not too much movement, not too little. You want the weight of the body to travel down through there, so neutralize down through there. And you also want the strength of the earth to go up through there, which if you're holding a lot of tension there, growth muscular effort there, it will, it will affect 
the abilities to channel that energy up through the body and to neutralize the way through the body as well. When it comes to like the martial arts side of Tai Chi, it affects your ability to neutralize the force coming at you and to issue the strength of the whole body near the earth into your opponent. Okay, changing sides. You can do these for as long when you're practicing diligently in time, as long or as short as you like. If you want to get yourself warm, get maybe yourself a little bit out of breath. So again, forwards, the heel of the rear foot comes off the ground. Make sure the chest isn't sticking out, the lower, the lower back's not curving and the tailbone's not kinky backwards, sink back. And you can feel this cross connection between the rear leg and the front, the arm in front of you when you go forwards, feel the connection between the front leg and this arm that's going up in front of you, feeling those cross connections. That's cross connections. Up and down. And you feel that pump, you're sinking into that rear leg. Side. Sink into that rear leg. I'm just pumping up. Pumping up. Yeah, who says that Tai Chi is just slow? So you can hear my breaths up. I'm getting really quite warm here. I'm starting to sweat. There are uh, like the, the, the more cardiovascular exercises in Tai Chi. But the majority of people in the world practice it just for health and relaxation and meditation. Tai Chi is an amazing, amazing martial art. You just have to train a little bit different for it to be effective. You know, the stuff, the, the foundation you get from practicing the slow fall, meditative aspect, and just tweak it a little bit. You know, auxiliary training to have more of a martial focus. Again, do as long or short as you like. Okay, so standing again with your feet about the same distance as your hips and shoulders apart. Okay, make your hands into hollow fists again. So again, pulling the belly towards the back, sitting down, posture pushing the sacrum forward. Way loose sacrum area, more substantial than the quad, the hip area. Uh, heavy elbows, relax your shoulders. You're controlling your arms, your forearms, all your arms with your waist and the strength of the earth. And just want you to start to bounce the arms up the body, tapping the body. Tapping the body with your fist, but it's not it's not this, it's controlling your arms using the strength of the earth and the weight. And again, make sure the hips aren't taking over. And then cover the whole of the body. Again, hitting yourself as hard or as soft as is comfortable for you. You can do it as body conditioning, conditioning the fists and the body, or as a gentle massage. But try and cover all of your torso. So you're steering your arms, your fists, using that ball and belly and the strength of the earth to cover all of your body. You're not controlling this with the shoulder. And again, when it comes to the martial arts side, you can use this for, for striking. You're just throwing the fists out. Tapping the body. Tap the body. This is called the beating of drum. If you, nobody remembers the Karate Kid 2 film from the 1980s with uh, Daniel San. This is the beating of the drum, like a, a small handheld drum on a stick, two beaters each on a piece of string. You twist the stick, the beaters hit the, the double skin drum on either side. Your body's the drum, your legs are the stick, your arms are the beat. Just covering the body. Again. Much as you like. Okay, so rub your hands. Okay, and I'm just gonna rub my face here. Rub the sweat off my face. You can rub the top of the head and everything if you want, but kind of wash your hands if you're gonna rub your face. But rub your neck here. Yeah. Rubbing your neck. This is self-massage. Uh, try and balance in Tai Chi the more hardest, the hardest stuff with something softer. So you've been beating the body here, or I've been beating the body. And just massage. Now you can feel as if you're rubbing in a magic cream here, a magic lint, the shoulders. It is self-massage as well, so rub as hard as it's comfortable for you. You can do it under the clothes or over the clothes here. We've done the inside of the arms three times. This is the way the meridians go, so you're rubbing there. To self massage, but you also, if you believe in the chi energy, you're helping the flow of the chi through your body. You the belly, the belly, 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 one way, the other way, up and down, all the way around. With the lower back, that's the kidney rub here. That's the kidney rub. You can also do this with uh, kind of the, the wrists, you know, the back of the hands, if you want to get a Deeper kidney rub, lower back, uh, rectus spinal muscles, massage here with the, the hips and we'll crease, the buttocks, rubbing the buttocks, the thighs, 
the knees, rubbing warm, loving, positive energy into the knees, the shins and the calves, the ankles if you can get down there, and anywhere you feel might need a bit of special attention, give it a bit of a rub. Okay, so that's what I've got for you for today, so uh, give it a go, watch the film again, uh, kind of learn what I've done there, and add it into your training routine if uh, it, you, yes, if you, if you want to add it into your training system. but yeah, I will say, <laughs> oh, that's me, I'm starting to waffle now, so I will say goodbye for now.